start this, but um, yeah, we are at the vet clinic. So I just want to give some context to the video. Um, I moved into the new house and everything's going to be fine. I redid Duke's enclosure and put a new pothos in there. It was very, very bushy. And one night he climbed down underneath the foliage and couldn't find his way back up. And so the next day when we turned his lights on, we couldn't find him. But that's a good thing if you have a chameleon. Uh, but when I got home that night, uh, my wife told me about it and I went in to his enclosure and found him. He was completely shaded, hadn't been able to get his body temperature up all day because he wasn't able to get up to his basking spot. I mean, it's not cold in the house, but obviously reptiles need that. Um, and he seemed to be okay after that for a few days and then he started to act sluggish, he started closing his eyes, um, he stopped being able to keep himself up, he was a couple of times, um, fell down, um, and, or was just hanging by his tail when I came in to work or to check on him, and then, um, as you can see in the video here that I'm going to play um, just a second that he was deteriorated very very fast so I took him to the vet and it looked like upper respiratory infection or a respiratory infection which is very common for reptiles he had all the classic symptoms he had been holding his head up um, he had the sunken eyes um, closed eyes so we got antibiotics for him pushed fluids in him and it just wasn't enough. Alright guys, this is Duke. He is losing steam. He was able to at least keep himself up yesterday. Um, but he is not today and it looks like he just defecated. That's great. So I have him in his enclosure, but the door is open. Obviously with the dripper, as you can see his eyes aren't open. He's very, very weak. I just, of course, fed him a cricket and some water. Let's see if I can get some fluids in him. His urates are white, which means he is hydrated at least, but he did not have any poop, so. And we gave him his next round of antibiotics early. We'll see. like this Duke's health took a turn for the worse and oh, he's not he's not moving I 
That should be good enough. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, Duke was a six-year-old chameleon. When we got him, he was already an adult. We've had him for about five or six years. So, but it sucks that his life was cut so short. You need. He's gone. So he was bright green earlier today, and now he's dark. Yeah, he was already passing yeah. this morning. We're going to bury him here in the yard. It's been, of course, several days making these videos because our life has been very busy as of late with the move and a lot of things in the works. Um, you know, a lot of moving parts. Heather got a new job. We moved. We um, have another journey to share with you guys that we're trying to document. And all the while, my birthday happened. Lion's birthday happened. So, um... You know, Duke was with us for quite a while and, you know, it, it was something that we didn't really expect to happen. So, you know, he's laid to rest now in the back part of our yard over here in the, this back area runs back behind our house with the water. Um, so we buried him over there and said a little prayer for him, um, it's sad, but it's part of life. One of these, I don't like sharing these sorts of videos as a creator, but, um, you know, it happens and we did everything we could to give him best quality of life. But in the end, I'm ju justifying thousands of dollars to test and treat a chameleon that's already old. It's the same thing with our dogs. If our dogs were, you know, they're pets and they're not humans, so... We did take him to the vet and try our hardest, but I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars on treating an already elderly animal. Um, the quality of life wasn't going to be there anyways. So I guess I'm gonna wrap this one up guys because it's been a long few weeks and I'm hopefully going to have more videos for you coming soon. So please stay tuned. Go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't ever miss any of the videos we post. And I said thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it remember life is about a journey not a destination we'll see you on the next video peace